Hello YouTubers, I have recently started learning Python and I decided to write a program that prints prime numbers out and I thought I would share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using Python 2.7 and Adam is my text editor and I'm obviously on Windows with a Windows PowerShell. Okay, so let's see here. Test if number is prime. Just give a little description. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is ask for some input. So enter a number to test if it is prime. And this is what the user will see on the command line. I'm going to put a comma here so that it keeps the cursor on the same line. I think it just looks a little better when you're on the command line. Okay, so now we're going to create an object, which is a, a long so we're going to take the raw input from the user just like this and we're going to cast it to a long uh, in Windows or I'm sorry in uh, Python 2.7 your accuracy of the long is really only limited by how much memory you have so we don't know how big of a number the user is going to enter okay now if you read a little bit about prime numbers you'll learn that when you're checking for divisors you only have to check up to the square root of the number. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the square root. So we create a new object. Okay, this is going to be an index number. We're going to start it at 2.0. And you'll see why in a minute. And then we're going to create a Boolean. Okay, now this method is basically going to take the number and starting at count 2 it's going to divide the number by whatever the index is and then if there's a remainder then you know it's not divisible by that number and we'll check that all the way up to the square root of the number and if we don't find anything then we know that the number is prime so that's the way this method is gonna work and it's base it's called the divisor method you can google it and find more about it okay so while i is less than or equal to the square root if n remainder or some people call this modulo i just find remainder easier to remember so if you divide n by i and there's no remainder such okay let's let's just say uh... you have four so four divided by two there's no remainder so this would satisfy this if statement here. So then we set our boolean value to false. Okay, and then we want to increment. Uh, I thought it was kind of weird learning Python that you can't do I++, which I'm used to doing with Java and C++, C++ and etc but that's just how they like it is the i plus equal one okay so now we're gonna give our user some feedback based on the results of the computation um, so with Python it's just and whereas with the other languages um, Java and C sharp and it's those languages it's and and so it's a little different I'm gonna add an n is not equal to one because that is a test case that will fail given the code I wrote, wrote earlier but I still think it's pretty succinct okay so now we're gonna print out uh, first we gotta put our this is kind of a placeholder so we're saying put that there in that format for now and then later on I'll tell you what goes there okay and so we put percent n so this n here when it's actually printed out it'll be in an uh, integer format which is what the percent d stands for and it'll go right there in the sentence alright then we have our else oh just realized I forgot the colon there we're gonna print basically the same thing but not a prime number okay so everything looks good let's go ahead and save it 
and we'll come over here and we'll run it. Test it out. So python.exe prime solver dot py. Okay, let's say one. Okay, no. Uh, we can just hit one on the keyboard and run the program again. Let's say five. Five is a prime number. Okay. Let's try 87. 87 is not prime. Oh, I would have thought it was. Let's see here. Let's try 4 million or 472,882. Oh, well, we got to run the program first. Did I seriously do that again? <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, this is where I enter it. Okay. Okay, it is prime. Okay, so it seems to be working. I'm going to, uh, in another video, I'm going to take this whole process and wrap it in a function so that I can call it from the command line, and then I'll basically use it to generate a bunch of prime numbers. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.